And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Welcome to the Dice Tower! Welcome to the Dice Tower. I'm Tom Vassell. This is my daughter, Melody. And today, we're talking about something that is very true to life. <laughs> I know this because I see it every day. Chaos in the kids' room. Of course, Melody doesn't think her room is messy, but it is every day. Anyway, is it your fault? No. Uh, it's your sister's fault. That's what she says. But anyway, this is basically a memory match game. But on each card that's turned over, there's more than one item. Let's take a look at the game. There's 48 tiles in the game, and each tile has different pictures on it. And basically, the game is very simple. One player goes first, and they simply turn over a card on the table so that everyone can see it. Once, well, obviously you're looking for matches of two things, and there's not going to be two things in the same card, so the next player goes and turns over any card on the table, and we're always keeping an eye out to see if there's a match. In this instance, there's no match, so I turn over another card. No match still, so then Melody turns over another card. And I saw a match, and I must immediately say what it is. Duck! All right, I now have gotten the match, and so I... Put this here, and I'm going to take both cards that were part of the match and put them in front of me. And then we continue on. I turn over a card, and there's no match. Now these turn. She turns over a card. Still no match. I turn over a card. Bag. Ah, oh, I didn't even see that one. And yes, there is. There's two bags here in the cards. Let me show you the cards and the different pieces that are on the cards. Now, this is the very basic version of the game. In the advanced version of the game, you have to find three. Three objects on the card. Now, this makes it a lot more difficult. Watch briefly. I turn one over, then it's Melody's turn. We're looking for three identical objects. She turns one over, I turn one over. Keep going. And then Melody turns one over, and I turn one over. And Melody turns one over, and I turn one over. Now, I've already seen some double matches, but no three matches yet. And so we just keep taking turns. Melly turns one over. I turn one over. Go ahead. Still haven't found three of the same item yet, but we're getting really close. We know that we're going to find three of the same item soon enough. And you see how many cards we have turned over at this point in time. And there probably is three of the same item out there, maybe. And I'm just... Ah, <laughs> tennis racket! Is that what you were going to say? I beat her! <laughs> okay, not really. Okay, but in that instance, I would take the three here, and you can see that they all have the tennis racket on it. Now, you can make this even worse by saying that this doesn't count because you have to have at least one other double match on it. So let me see if I can find an example of that with tennis rackets. Uh, that's not... That makes the game really difficult. You may be turning over tons of tiles before you get anything. Are there even any more tennis rackets out there? Well, it looks like there's only three tennis rackets total. So I guess the tennis rackets wouldn't be eligible for that. So, or you can find three on one and two on the other. There's really a bunch of variations, but I find that it works best when you're just looking for three of the same object with older kids. If you're playing with very young kids, then it's just two of the same object. There's a lot of different objects. These are mostly objects that you will find on the floor of kids' rooms. I found that it, the game, while it says from 4 to 99 on the box, doesn't necessarily mean that they play as well together. For example, I play with a 4-year-old, a 6-year-old, and an 8-year-old, and myself, and me and the 8-year-old have really good competition. Straight up, you know, she usually can beat me. But with the 4 and 6-year-old, we're getting completely shut out because while their brain is still connecting that there's two images, we've already grabbed them. But when they play against each other, they do very well. And so I would say if parents are playing this game with kids, maybe they should pull back a little bit, unless the kids are old enough to give them firm competition. Because it's it's a speed memory game, and it reminds me of another game, uh, Monster, Monster, Ugly Monster, where you say Monster, Monster, Monster. But the idea of finding these objects on the floor of your room, and I like tiles better than cards to begin with. And you got to grab this. Now, grabbing this means that maybe some fingernails may get stuck in other people's arms or when you both grab for it at the same time. But still, grabbing something is a good idea, and there's a wide range of objects on these cards that kids are going to enjoy saying. It's a fun memory game for kids. Just watch the age range and make sure that one person isn't shutting out the other. And so that's, like I said, the real-life game, Chaos, Chaos 
in the kids' room. See you next time. Thanks for joining us today. For more written, audio, and video reviews, as well as the number one board game podcast, check out the website at www.thedicetower.com. Until then, this is Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.